treat every day like a Friday. For real, for real. <laughs> Shoot, I ain't waiting on no, it gotta be a Friday or a Saturday or a Sunday for me to be enjoying life. Mm -mm. Baby, I treat every day like it's the weekend, okay? Every day like it's the weekend. That's what I do. How long I've been? I've been for about 15 minutes. I know somebody asked, how long have I been up? I've been up for about 15 minutes. Yeah, I have to go ahead and start moving. Man, I hate for time to get by me and like for me to not accomplish everything I needed to accomplish because I didn't get up. You know what I'm saying? I cannot stand that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. It works my nerves. So I have to get up. So when the end of the day happens, if there's something I did not get to, I don't beat myself up. I'm like, girl, hey. You do day. You did everything possible. <laughs> you did everything possible, okay? Don't beat yourself up, ma'am. Don't beat yourself up, girl. I need to grab some more hair curls from over there. So that's why I like to get up. I literally, for everything I do, I literally have to utilize every single second. So I know I gotta start glam. At 9 30. Hair makeup. So guess what? Get up and start this. Getting these orders packed up. Um so oh shoot. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. So really quickly, I'm gonna go live on TikTok today. I haven't been live over there this week. Um, mainly because, you know, I have my kids this week, so, um, I'm like, you know, I put more time with them, so I haven't been going live like I normally do, but I'm going to go live today over on TikTok, okay? Um, I'm going to go live over there today, and... I want to ask y'all a question. Hey, are you tired yet? Uh-uh. You know what? I, that mentality of being tired, I kind of put that to the side, too. Like, it is what it is. Ain't no need to talk about I'm tired. It ain't going to do nothing. It ain't going to change not one thing. So, I just be like, you know what? <laughs> hey. Hey. Shh. Complain about being tired for what? But, um... I'm going to go live on TikTok today, but first I'm going to ask y'all a question here to get it started, get you thinking, um, and then we'll talk about it over on the tick of the top. So for those of you who has been watching or fans of Love and Marriage Huntsville for all these seasons, right? So we gonna, cause you know, sometimes people be counting on you not remembering stuff, right? They be counting on you to think that you didn't see the stuff you know you saw, right? That's just what they do. So my question for you is, for y'all is, we're gonna talk about it later. Like I said, I'm on TikTok, I'll go into depth. Do y'all feel like I've been one of those people on the show that has like, um, I always try to get people to pick sides when it comes to people in this group, uh, these cast of Love and Marriage Hunts, what y'all think? And I'm gonna give y'all some facts later, but first I wanna see, <laughs> first I wanna see what y'all think. Do y'all feel like I have been one of those people running around, you just go back to the beginning, trying to get people to pick a side, that's the term they like to use, pick a side, when it comes to people on this show. Do y'all feel like that? Just asking. Some people saying no. Um, a lot of people saying no. Do y'all, I'm just asking, do y'all feel like I've been one 
Like when I am into it with people or whatever, that I'm like, oh, you don't need to be their friend and you need to pick a side. Has that, because I don't like projection. I don't like for people to project their own or their friends' own mental states on me. Okay? I don't like it. So, but I'm also open to receive. So I'm asking you guys. Just asking you guys. Okay, somebody said yes. They felt that way with destiny. Okay. I see a lot of no's. Okay. Hmm. Somebody said, I'm tired of them playing with you. Oh, don't worry, baby. Nobody's going to be playing with me in 2024. Y'all know I used to sit back and I'll say nothing, but not 2024. Um, you did not. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm really just asking. Um, I think, um, and again, I'm going to go over it real deep on TikTok today. I'll probably go live. Let me see. I got a feeling from probably 11 to 2. Well, I'm probably, I'm probably number one. And so I will probably go live around 2 today. Okay, probably around 2 today. Um... I'll probably go live around two today. Mel, you don't fit with us. <laughs> I'm just asking, and here's why I'm asking. I'll give you guys one example. Two people almost got to fighting on this show, right? One of them that I brought to the show that I was friends with. Well, both of them, actually, but one of them at the time I was still cool with. We were friends. And um, when they got into it, I literally spent time on the phone with both of them saying, hey, y'all have, y'all have, and I've said this publicly before, I'm going to say, I said, hey, y'all don't have any beef with each other. Y'all shouldn't even be going Y'all shouldn't be going at each other like this. Y'all don't know each other. Y'all shouldn't have no beef. This is too much. Y'all, this is too much. Went to one of their houses, had the same conversation. Um, <clears throat> went to one of their houses, had the same conversation with them. Hey, you and her don't need to be. Y'all, look, this ain't me and what me and her got going on. Ain't got nothing to do with you. Y'all don't know each other. Y'all put it out. That's just one example. I'm going to give some more on TikTok today. <laughs> but that's one example. And I've said it before. Public. A while ago. Like a while, while ago. And it hasn't been refuted because it's true. Um. So... There are two people right now on the show that are friends and cool, right? That I was always cool with them or their family, but you know why they're cool? Because they're in the same with that situation too. You know what I said? Hey, no, you just see, you know, see how you like her for yourself. Like, see how you like her for yourself. Don't, don't go by off of what you think of me. You know, see how you like her for yourself and now they're good friends. It's another situation. <laughs> so I'm just really asking y'all. I'm just asking like, ow. <sighs> now that some low down illegal-ish has been done, yes, I'm going to question where your integrity lies. Absolutely. Now you hear me saying some stuff because... Where your integrity lie. It ain't got nothing to do with, I I don't know if y'all know or not, but I'm kind of like, I do good being by myself. Like, I don't, I don't have to have um, a cheer squad around me all the time. I'm not that person. I've never been that person. Blame it on me growing up as an only child, whatever you wanted to be. But I'm not that person. So... I ain't on, I don't have to do the, oh, 
I need all these people to be my friend and my friend only. And no. First of all, I'm 38. I don't even know why friendship is such a heavy topic in this friend group because air all them over 40. All them over all them over 40 anyway. I don't even know why. I ain't never it sounds very elementary to me. I, I just I don't even I hear more talk about friends than I do about money, and that's a problem for me. But anyway. But anyway, it doesn't even hear <laughs> Anyway, so um <sighs> Long story short, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, no, never. I just, mm. but I'm glad that my millimeters, who are critical thinkers, <laughs> who have a sound memory, that y'all remember and y'all know what it's been. Y'all know what it is and y'all know what it's been. And nobody on here can say that before now. They've ever heard me being on some, you need to make a choice. Now, like I said, now there's some low down. And if you don't think what occurred was low down, the attempt that was made or was going to be made was low down, then your, your integrity and heart posture is crazy, okay? So now that that level of low has happened, yeah, yeah, I'm bringing it to the front. I'm going to question where your mind state lies, where your integrity lies, because how could you be okay with that? So yeah, I'm asking questions now that can make it seem like I'm trying to tell you to choose a side. I'm not telling you to choose a side because to be real, I don't, I don't care about nobody being on my side. Like I said, I'm a, I'm a one, <laughs> hey, I, you know, but I'm going to ask some questions because I need to know how, to, how, how, to, how do you be okay with this? <laughs> so I'm going to ask that, but listen, let me tell y'all something. I ain't never been the one running around in this friend group trying to tell people to pick no god dog on side. Stop it. Stop it. I have not. 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 If you start making me feel uncomfortable, like you talking to my ex on every time I'm calling you, you on the phone with them, ah, so he beeping in. And I'm like, wait a minute. And then plus, on top of other little stuff, which turns out my spirit of discernment was right. My spirit of discernment that something was wrong with you was right. So, and we all can see that. So, it's like, you know what? But don't, y'all, don't be out here lying. Don't, don't do that. Don't lie. I'm probably the most, when it comes to this group, saying to be the one saying, See what you think for yourself. Hey, y'all shouldn't be beefing. Stop it. Just because me and her don't get along, y'all shouldn't be getting. Y'all, this y'all doing too much. Now y'all besties. So, you know, like, stop it. Stop it. You might as well say I help put your friendship together. But I like to tell people to pick sides. No. But if I see you moving like a snake, I will chunk you to deuces. Because <laughs> like I said, I don't mind being, you know, in my world having conversations and enjoying people and having conversations about getting to the back. That's what I like to do. I like to do all that. So, um, yeah. Oh, I'm going to talk about it some more on TikTok today. For sure. Okay, leave in hair. Um, for sure. Because I'm just a little off. Okay, just a little loud. <clears throat> Let me see what y'all saying. Don't worry, I see y'all. I got her. No, Mel's not a victim. People just like to bring me in their conversations and talk about, you know, me. So, if that's called Mel always being a victim. Me responding, my people keeping me, I guess, maybe so. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. I have not been running around doing interviews about people on this show. Or really the show in general. I just did an interview last week on Fox. But let's be super, super clear. I could be, let me Y'all know how many people be asking me to do interviews? 
I've been, Dr. Heavenly texted me and asked me to do an interview. What did I do? I read phone upstairs and I can't look at them. Dr. Heavenly just texted me, what, maybe two weeks ago? Week and a half, maybe? Week and a half, two weeks ago? And asked me to do an interview. See, now I gotta look this one up because I forgot what I was putting in. So I gotta look that one up. Um, I'm not really doing interviews right now because I, I don't want to. And I don't have to. I don't want to, I don't have to, I don't feel like really doing it right now. I don't want to do interviews right now. There are several people, uh, Crystal XO, she wants to do an interview. I've got several people, been asking, but I don't want to because it's like, well, what? I, I've done all that. I'm taking a break. <laughs> taking a break. I've done all that. I've done all that. You know. Um. So yeah, I mean, to get up here and talk about these people, no, no, thank you. I don't want to do that. I don't want to. So I don't. My point is, you guys, my point is, my point is that you feel like I'm the victim. First of all, I feel like I'm the victor and not the victim. You know, V-I-C-T-I-M, V-I-C-T-O-I. It's a difference. I crack myself up, lotion, oil, mango. I'm checking and questioning your integrity. Your integrity. That's what I'm questioning. Because if you okay with this, then may it, may it happen to your daughter. May it happen to your niece. May it happen to your cousin. I'm questioning your integrity. That's what I'm doing. And if you okay with somebody being willing to take an intimate moment of sorts and set up a scheme to release it on the internet, and all that mess come out, and you okay with that? I'm gonna ask you about it, <laughs> like I've been doing this season. But before that, I'm not trying to get nobody to be on my side about nothing. And right now, it ain't even about being on my side. I'm questioning you and your integrity. That's all. You can do what you want to do. Like I said, I don't have no sleepless days over here for folks. <laughs> not having a chilling squad. I don't even like a whole lot of people being around me like that personally like just every day no um so i'm questioning your integrity and like i said if you're okay with it may it happen to your daughter your niece and your cousin and you know y'all be okay with that ish <laughs> all y'all be okay with it don't the family don't even say nothing when it hit if it hit the internet when it hit don't y'all say nothing y'all just sit over there and be okay with it like i'm just saying like make it make sense Make it all make sense. And that's it. So, that's when I have finally stood up and kind of been questioning and saying, so I'm looking for that. Like I said, one of my chances for nobody picking no sides of no kind. At all. At all. And this, and this right here, we're talking about the side of right and legality. Okay? That's what I've been asking. The side of right, like right, morals, integrity. And if you happen to lack it, then just lack it. Okay? Just lack it. It's okay too. That's okay too. Oh. So, today, today, what we'll do. We'll go live on TikTok around 2, 3 o'clock today. And we'll dive into it a little bit more. Oh, I'm not going over there. I got to walk over there and go get that blush. 
lip oil and honey smell. I'm not walking over there right now. I'll walk over there in a minute. Have y'all seen our travel bags? Oh my gosh, they are so cute. They're leather. They are so bomb, y'all. And they're big, too. They hold a lot of product. But enough still where you can carry it and it ain't too big. It's got, like, pockets in it and all that. You know? It has pockets and all that. And also what I'm going to address on TikTok today. But y'all got to be hitting the like button and buying products over there for me to uh, spill all this. So I'm going to see how y'all, what y'all doing. I guess I will get ready to walk over there to that makeup. Oh, I got a few more I can do. Okay. Oh, this blueberry lemon. Let me um, I know it's been a lot of conversation. You know how sometimes people say stuff and they don't tell the whole story. They'll like just tell and leave out the parts they want to leave out because they want you to make, um, to like, instead of just being totally honest, they want you to think a certain way. So they omit certain parts intentionally to make you to make you uh, maybe come to a conclusion that they know ain't accurate. So another thing we're going to talk about over there today is this car rental conversation that's been going around. We're going to go on and lift that in the bud. This is going around for some years. Um, we're going to lift that in the bud today too. Because I'm just saying, I'm going to continue to nip all the little falsehoods that I've kind of been letting slide and just what I've been on some whatever. I don't care. Whatever. 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 But I'm kind of tired of whatever and because people just don't stop. You be hoping they'll just shut up and stop, but they just don't stop. So, we'll nip that in the bud today as well. Um, over on the tick of the top, over on the tick of the top, I'm going to read some messages as well. I'll make sure my red phone is down here. I'll make sure my red phone is down here. I'm going to scrub. So, yeah, I'll make sure my red phone is down here so I can pull it up. All of this stuff. Okay, show y'all the screen. Let y'all look. We're going to go on and nip that in the bud, too. Because right, I see that narrative ain't going to stop. I was hoping it would stop, but it ain't stop. It's not. Nah. Not going to let nobody play on my top. So, we're going to go on and nip that in the bud as well. and stuff of our look it's so pretty oh ain't it it's just so pretty oh my gosh it's so cute and cute cute good morning hey hello 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 good morning and let me say this really quickly Nah, I'm gonna say that for TikTok today. I know y'all better be over hitting the like button and stuff um, when I'm over there. Did I just do that? Uh, whenever I'm over there and I give y'all all this little tea. Because, um. Oh, my because, um. Listen. See, this is what you call male being woke. <laughs> male. Uh, behind the scenes doing stuff and stuff. I ain't gonna do it behind the scenes. I'm gonna be straight up with what I do. I always have been ever since I came on. The, do y'all know how often I used to click the live button back in my first years of this entertainment world? Baby, I used to go live in a minute. Okay? I don't, I ain't gotta do stuff behind the scenes. I used to go live and go like say what well, everything I got to say. I've just been choosing to sit back and just bask in the glory of the Lord, honey, and just be at peace. But the Bible says it's a time for peace 
and it's a time for war. So, um, it is what it is, you know, it is what it is, and I'm cool with it. I feel amazing. I've been still having fun. I feel good. I say what I got to say, then I go on with my day. I say what I got to say, then I go on with my day. So, and I make money while I'm doing it. Uh-huh, yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. <sighs> so, let me say this before I leave, because I got to focus on my words. I got to print some more. I got to pack up. I think that's food. Y'all just went crazy on this food truck sale, child. I mean, I don't know what I was thinking. <sighs> Unfortunately, Lauren's here this week, so we got this. Um, look, for those of y'all, let me tell y'all something. For those of y'all thinking, oh my gosh, we gonna have a scene with Mel and Wanda. No, you're not. Let me go on and nip that in the bud. No, you're not. I'm not filming anything with Wanda. Um, actually, Wanda hasn't even been in the show on the show and I don't know how long, so I don't know why people be thinking that. Um, I'm not feeling anything with Wanda. Um, now she did call the showrunner the other day. Um, unfortunately, he didn't answer. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, you know, mm, yeah, no, no, no baby girl. No. Now she filmed a few scenes for sure. Uh, and that's the crazy thing. I saw her at the party in the pasture. She won. Rah, 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 rah. But that didn't air, so she, she didn't make that one. But she won. Rah, rah, rah with me. She ain't even saying nothing out the way to me. She's like, me and her ain't get into it or nothing. Um, I saw her, and this is so crazy. I saw her at uh whenever they did the hair launch thing for the girls. And I literally went. I didn't even have to go. It wasn't on my schedule. I literally went just because when it comes to the kids, for me, y'all know I feel like kids are off limits to the BS no matter what. And I'm going to always support kids, period. If I've known the kids, if I've had a relationship with them or my kids have had a relationship with them, kids ain't got nothing to do with the BS. You know what I'm saying? So I was invited. I went not for a check because it wasn't on my schedule to be there. I literally went for real. I saw her there. Nothing. So I keep feeling like, man, I've seen this lady and it's always mute challenge, like nothing. But it's a lot of talk on the, on this, behind the screen. So at this point, especially since she called the showrunner the other day, I know you just want to be on the show. You just want to, you need a check, okay? That's all it is. You need a check. Need a check. Um, so because of that, mm, uh, not going to happen. Um, not about to, like, probably even entertain you too much any longer because now I know your real motive. Your real motive, for real, for real, is you want to be on the show. Too bad he didn't answer, though. But anyway, so, you know, um, uh, yeah, um, mm, yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, yeah, y'all, so we're going to go run TikTok. <laughs> we're going to go, we're going to, um, we're going to um, go on TikTok later today. <laughs> what y'all <else>? she said? <laughs> Let me see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Chef Dun Dun. <laughs> okay, you heard what I just said, right? <laughs> Chef Dun Dun, you heard what I just said, right? Because I was asked, hey, what's going on? What's going on? I said, man, look, nothing I'm going to talk about on the show. Don't ask me nothing. It ain't got nothing to do with the show. I'm not talking about on the show. I ain't doing nothing, so nothing. I was just wondering, you know, because I had got a call from her the other day, but I ain't answered it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Mm, no. But I tell you, when you can't get a, a check with a full truck. <laughs> with a full truck. With a food because baby, food truck discount popping. Y'all showed out with the food truck discount, baby. Y'all in two days, baby. Y'all, mm, 
mm, did not come to play at all. I gotta walk over there and get a makeup today. I don't feel like walking over there and get makeup. So, yeah. Yeah. You guys showed out with food truck. Okay? And the discount is still up right now. Okay? You know. The, the, it's still up. I didn't close it yesterday. So, if you still want to go to 7th Avenue Beauty.net, you can still go over there and get 30% off site-wide. You can still go over there, okay? Um, and so, yeah. Um, food truck. You know, food truck. Food truck. I saw you, mama. You said, you said, uh, that's right. Let the course happen for now. And let me tell y'all what's so funny. Let me show y'all this. Because I, I got up early. I went and checked my mail. Let me show y'all this. This is what's so funny. this part up so <laughs> and I'll open it in a minute here's what's so funny I saw you mother and I know that's why I'm just you know that's why I said what I've said is I've, I've said what I had to say for now especially um so literally have y'all heard of Fox Rothschild let me do it like this right here see that Fox at the top, Rothschild at the bottom. See that right there? See that right there? Fox, Rothschild, right? So I had money sitting over there with them for probably, well, about a year now. They're in Atlanta. Look them up. So there's a guy there, an attorney, who is Rick Ross's attorney. And so I had retained him. Oh, there go UPS. Yes. Oh, bring me them fresh cleansers, baby. I had retained them, you know. And I just had the money just sitting over there. Because, I mean, hey, it's bad, you know, for whatever. Like, right? Child. They done sent me. I might have to send it right on back to them. Because <laughs> I'm about to go ham. They sent me this 8000 refund of my retainer I done sent them. $8,414.50. Check in the mail. <laughs> I guess they say she ain't she ain't doing that. She, we just hold we just got our money over here. <laughs> she ain't doing she ain't, we just holding this do we holding this retainer? They charged me for a couple a couple of things because it was a 10k retainer. But I got $84,14.50. Okay. Somebody said, come on, refund retainer check. I know. I was happy to see this in the mail this morning. I was like, oh, okay. I knew I'd just walk on down into the mailbox. So, um, yeah, my point is um, up and stuff. It's going to be up and stuff. I, I don't. I mm, mm. Not the retainer refund. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. I guess they might have to just go on and just be gone and get it. Because I got a few things I'm about to handle. People got to learn you can't just come on this internet and say stuff without proof. You can't do it. You can't just lie on people. Okay. You can't. Let me see Trendy. Hey, Trendy. Hey, Trendy. What's up? What you doing? <laughs> Not next code. Retain a refund. Y'all so crazy. Not retain a refund. Y'all so crazy. But I did. It was in the mail this morning. I'm trying to show y'all Fox Rothschild. I'm telling y'all, look. 8,000. Can y'all see? 8,000. 8, right there. See it? 8414. That's it. Right there. Mm hmm Yeah. Sure did. Mm-hmm. Keep it ready. Got to stay ready. But I guess they got tired of holding on to my money. I was like, girl, here, get a refund. I'm going to be sending it right back. <laughs> sending it right back. <laughs> It, I'm sending it back to you. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mel. Teleworking. Oh, hey, girl. Hey, they're a good firm. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm hmm They are. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Mm hmm mm -mm 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 -mm. Absolutely amazing. 
And I saw somebody say something about the millimeters. And I got some more tea to drop on that too. This whole millimeter thing. Because. <sighs> like y'all. Let me tell y'all. Some of this stuff I know has nothing to do with y'all. Like some of this not showing up to the podcast had nothing to do with y'all. And I know what it had to do with. I just not said it. But I'm going to say it. Because it's not okay. It wasn't no old scared or didn't know what is it. No, there were some other matters at hand that hadn't been resolved. And, you know, sometimes people don't go to stuff unless they're going to get a check. So, it, this whole scared of millimeters or I don't know what they was going to do, stop the cap. That's not true. Because I do know the truth. What was going on behind the scenes. So stop. Just, you know, but we'll get to all of that. Like when I tell y'all, I'm going to get to all of those things on TikTok. Not all today is going to be, but <sighs> it's going to be fun because we're going to be over there. We're going to make sales. We're going to hit lights. We're going to get out to all the, y'all always get the two, 300,000 lights and stuff. It's going to be amazing while we're also having some real conversation. All right. <laughs> For real. Okay. For real. Like, that's, that was just, that's not the truth. <laughs> that's not the truth. It's just not. It's just not. There were literally some moving pieces behind the scenes that had, had not been resolved. That was, y'all was trying to get resolved. And so people were kind of in limbo. In limbo on some stuff. And I know it. So. Mm. Anyway. So we're not going to let nobody play on our top. All 2024. Just not doing it. Just not doing it. Um, What time? Like, probably around 2 or 3. Because I got to go to work at 11. So, probably around 2 or 3 o'clock today. I'll come on TikTok for about an hour. I can't do two hours like I usually do a lot of times. Because this is my kiddos week. And we're going to do something fun. We do something fun every day. We're going to do something fun today, too. So, maybe just an hour. Okay. So about two, three o'clock, all right? So I'll see y'all then. Seventh Avenue Beauty. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell them all. Come on over there. Because we're going to be live over there, all right? 